What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Mini Drum Mondays. Super exciting episode here where we're painting everything. I'm so excited to get into this. Here comes Adam with the first introduction. All right, so now that I've gotten uh, the first coat on the rims, I'm going to try uh, to start painting this stand. Uh, now, it needs some preparation. I need to clean it all up. I've got a lot of sanding to do. Um, but the main question is, is what color? And so I was doing a lot of testing. And so this is like a before and after um, of the color I think I'm gonna do. I tested like a, a red uh, for the stand. I know this is like a drum looking thing, um, but that's kind of the after. And I like that color a lot, that natural color. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I also thought of like this off white uh, you can't really see that on there, but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that natural color. You can see on screen compared to the same type of wood, uh, how that would look. So that's the idea. Let's go ahead and uh, play the montage of me getting that all sanded and prepped and ready to go. Then we'll get back to the rims. Thanks for interrupting, Adam. Yep. So this is the sanding process. I'm working with two different woods here. Uh, I've got the plywood, um, it's like five or six layers, um, half inch plywood. There's a big dust cloud. Very good for the lungs, right into the atmosphere. Uh, but I'm using, I'm using this electric sander actually to help me uh, detail and sand this uh, to the best that I can get it. Two different woods here. Uh, like I said, the, the stand legs are like a hard oak uh, and they had a very, um, uh, a big tendency to splinter. So it was kind of hard to get all those off there, but after a long period of time and some skipping of footage, I did finish sanding and it was time to start staining the uh, stand. And what's great about the stain that I chose is that it's a very nice natural wood color finish and I just think it adds a lot. But back to Adam. Yo, yo, yo. This is uh, the progress so far. It stinks so bad in here because of the spray paint. So I've got a okay mask on. What do you think of the difference so far? I'm pretty happy with that. I think uh, I think that's a pretty nice color. Just that nice dark stain. Coming along pretty good. I'll take you over to the drying rims. These are currently on their second coat. I have to do one and then flip it. They need one more full coat and then I can start painting them the chrome. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna start to see a huge difference. I'm pumped. All right, see you back here in a sec. And thanks again, Adam, awesome. So yeah, some more staining process. It was uh, pretty easy to use a brush to do this. As you'll see, it goes on nice and smooth. Um, and I end up putting two coats on this. Uh, I do talk about that here in a moment, but I think it- A little bit it, of this stuff goes a really long way. Right, and you're interrupting me again, so I would like for you to stop that. Oh, um, it's so satisfying. Right, and- it Looks so, amazing. Adam, would you please? Okay, so finishing up this process was pretty simple. Just kind of applying it with a you know a light amount because a little bit does go a long way and it's something easy that you can kind of paint in and uh, spread around pretty simply. So it was honestly very fun. This was very satisfying to choose the color. But back to Adam. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first coat is done. I don't know if I need to do a second coat on it. I'm loving the way it's turning out. It will dry kind of a, a flat color, even though right now it's kind of shiny. So I'm probably gonna spray it with a lacquer uh, after this. So let's keep it moving. All right, so now it's the really fun part. I've got three coats of primer on each one of these. Now it's time to spray paint them chrome. Let's do it. You got it, Adam. This was actually very satisfying. It definitely is like turning plastic into metal. Um, this, these are so, they look so good. They're just good looking. I'm excited. And I, I got this little close up so that you can see the transformation. Just watch as the plastic turns to metal right before your eyes. 
fantastic. So satisfying. So satisfying. So there's all eight of the drum rims. Then I strung up all of the hardware so I could spray it with the chrome as well. I think this uniform finish looks great. Back to Adam. All right, y'all, so now the next plan, the most exciting part, is that I get to wrap the drum shells. I was originally going to stain them, but I thought it might be better just to wrap them and it would give me more options for the future. So like this red color or this gold color, there's actually quite a bit of colors. I can even make my own custom wrap, things like that. But for now, I'm gonna try to make a wrap out of uh, one of these colors. Which color do you think I should do? Vote on it in the comments and maybe I can switch it around one day. But that'll be the fun part. We're gonna see how this works. Let's check it out. Psh, let's check you out. Well, I guess you already made the decision for us. We're choosing red. I wanted gold. So I guess we're gonna be redoing all this work soon. Anyways, simple process. This is paper and you can get it from your local craft store. And all I did was measure the width of the drum minus about a quarter of an inch so that the bearing edge will be visible. Now the paper is not long enough uh, to cover most of the drums, so it, uh, each wrap typically requires uh, a piece of tape um, to join the two pieces together. This allows me to wrap around the entire drum with a single piece of drum wrap instead of having to use multiple pieces. Using hot glue, I go ahead and secure one end to the drum. Then after I wrapped it around the other side, I can use hot glue on the other side to secure it nicely and it holds very, very firmly. Look at that finish. And what's great about this paper is that it's shiny without having to put any other products on it at all. Now we get to repeat the same process. I did want to mention that the reason why I chose red over gold for now, even though I did have somebody vote for gold in the community chat. So if you guys wanna be a part of the community chat, please follow along. I do uh, post there regularly. But my good buddy Zane, the amazing Zane, that's right, uh, chose red and was hoping that I would make it red. So I want to oblige my little buddy, but I also think it looks great. And it reminds me of my large drum set and I'd like to do a video with them side by side one day. So this process again, it's pretty similar. As the drums get smaller, I think it gets a little bit easier. And the snare drum and the tom, the high tom is, or rack tom, they are the same width. So I was able to repeat that twice and the process finished up very nicely. As we zoom in for dramatic effect, we can take a look at all of our hard work paid off. It was scary, but it was worth it. Back to Adam. All right, hey, that's it for uh, this, this episode. I am so excited because we're done with painting, which means we can build it now. I cannot wait to put this thing back together. I've been honestly feeling like lonely without it. I feel like it's in shambles, um, but I knew that this process had to come and so, I'm just pumped because we are done with the painting process. Uh, and I know I didn't end up painting these, but I love the way that they turned out, uh, these drum wraps. And so the good news is that it's uh, hot glued on there and I can easily take that off and put on something else, a different color, something like that. So let me know what you think about the red. And uh, next up, next video is gonna be the full assembly. We are there. This is it. We are on the final stretch. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me during this whole process. I hope I can get a lot more material out there for you all. 
Uh, this is not the end of Crazy Little Man 771, so keep following along. Keep, uh, keep sub subscribed and hit that notification bell for Mini Drum Mondays. Uh, but until then, my name is Adam, and I will see you on the next Mini Drum Monday. God bless you all.